nice if there were flowers? Wouldn't it be nice if it were spring? I've got a pocket full of wishes, please enjoy one. Bring it back to me when it's fulfilled. In my plastic little world, I'm bound with joy. Everything is as it should be, nothing ever goes to miss. I've got a To paradise, I have everything I want, and it didn't cost a stitch. The days are only mornings, and the nights are just for rest. The food is always fresh, there are no ditches in the sink. Everything is new, and everyone is new. We meet with handshakes and smiles, and we've all got great teeth. No one needs a helping hand, but if we did, we would be there. So I can't wake up in the morning and make believe. Make believe. <laughs> You Oliver? Are you in the Uber? How's it going, man? Good to meet you. I'm Ian. Nice to meet you, Oliver. I appreciate the pickup, Ian. Um, you can call me Ollie. That's what my friends do. Okay, cool, man. Good to meet you, Ollie. Uh, where are you from? Here, actually. Uh, just kind of back in town to see an old friend. The weekend. Oh. What are you saying with your Sorry. with your parents? Uh, no, uh, they're not around here anymore either. I'm down at the Stardust Inn. Do you want to head down to the Stardust now, or do you want to go around and kick it somewhere else for the day? I mean, I don't really have any friends around here anymore, man. Like, I'm just. Probably gonna hang at the hotel tonight, go see my buddy in the morning, and head back. Well, Ollie, check this out. There is a stop that I gotta make on the way to your hotel. If you're down to chill and burn some time, we can stop there, and this ride will be on me. I don't know, man. I really I kinda I really gotta get to... We are friends, right? Or should I call you Oliver? No, no, man, yeah, we're, we're friends. All right, man, then just sit back, chill out, and enjoy the ride. What are you doing? Come on, Ollie, we're here. Hey, you didn't tell me you're going to bring another person in here. Barnaby, it's cool. It's Ollie. He's my homie. He ain't looking cool. You got the cash? You got the good? <laughs> yeah, I got the good. 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 <laughs> Looks heavy, man. That's the good stuff right there. Pure on cut Cambodian copper. Checks out. Taste pure. Yep, yeah, it's that Cambodian. Bag's not included. Ollie, you feeling alright? You look a little sick, man. Yeah, no, I'm, 
I'm fine. Yeah, I, I think I might just need to eat or something. Alright, Ollie. Let's go get some food, man. Alright, then I'll check you later. Watch out for the mild here. Hey Ollie, this is my number, man. Uh, tomorrow when you go and see your friend, hit me up. I'll give you a ride down there. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, no shit, man. What a fresh for. Stay positive, Ollie. See you tomorrow, man. Hey, How are you? I've been better. How are you? Since the funeral and all. You left us, Ollie. I had to. I have a job. An important job. You guys just don't get it. I do. This place isn't good enough for you. I'm not good enough for you. It's not like that. It's from Morgan. Hey, remember when we went to that big senior party at John's house? Yeah. Morgan got so shit face on Jaeger and he thought he was fucking Superman jumped from the roof into the pool and broke his ankle. <laughs> we were still together then, weren't we? Yeah, I think so. Those were good times. They were. Staying up all night until the sun came up. Think there could ever been a future out of that? If you had stayed? Yeah. I'd rather leave it to the wonder, Ollie. Life is choices, and you don't get to take choices back. I have to go now, Oliver.
Some things are better left unsaid. By Oliver. Bye, Athena. Yeah, hey Ian. Hey, it's Ollie. Uh, I'm ready to go see my friend now. Can you come pick me up? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll see you out there at 10. So my friend that I told you that I'm coming to visit, he passed a couple months ago. His name is Morgan. He's my best friend since I can remember. Anyway, I missed the funeral. Shit, he was sick for about two years. I never made it a point to come back and visit him. Always felt like I had more important things to do. Doesn't really feel that way now. You know, man, when I was younger, I used to go and stay over at my mama's house. And Mama had a ghost. Oh, yeah, man. And she had a ghost. And that ghost, it was, it was there all the time. Messing with everything, she'd be crocheting something, she'd come, pick it up, she couldn't find where it was at. They tried everything. Exorcist, some holy water, and nothing would work, man. Nothing. One day, we're sitting there, playing some Nintendo at Mama's house. And all of a sudden, the coffee table flips up, throws her plastic fruits all over the floor, TV falls over, breaks. Mama, she can't take it no more. She just freaks out, starts cursing, hollering. All the grandkids, me, we're all freaked out because we never see Mama acting like this. Mama, she would go to a church and she would be there doing the holy singing and all that. So to see Mama acting like this, cursing and hollering, it was really, really freaking us out. So we knew that ghost had to be freaked out. So, man, in the end of it, that, that ghost had no other choice but to coexist in the house with Momo because Momo wasn't putting up with that shit no more. Are you being serious with me right now, Ian? I'm almost so I am. She told us life is going to get hard, but you got to live to the best of your abilities. There is always going to be a tomorrow until there is no more tomorrows. That makes sense. You're just a mortal man. Conducting a symphony of sorrow. You have to coexist with your ghost. Hey Ollie, let's get some burgers before your flight.
Dear Ollie, I hope you are well. I'm writing this for my deathbed, but I hope it finds you in good health. I understand things are going good with the new job, and I'm rooting for you. Follow your dreams. Don't worry about not being here with me now. There's nothing here for you to help with anyhow. I know how down you get on yourself, but you just need to learn to relax and remember to have fun. Remember John's party when I jumped in that pool? My ankle hurt for a while, but they healed and memories will last a lifetime. I can't regret that moment, jumping from that roof, because life is only a series of choices. Some are good and some are bad. However, after you become the person you've become as a result of all the previous choices, you begin to realize you no longer have choices. Only decision based on principle. Principles formed throughout time by a combination of all prior choices, environment, and influential ideals. In short, just relax and go for the ride, Holly. Your friend Morgan. B.S. Don't forget to jump.